In this video, we explain the main ideas behind the Navigado Scenario tool. A scenario, is it the same thing as a lesson plan? Well, they have a lot in common, but you could say that a lesson plan provides all the specific details to deliver your lesson the next day. A scenario is more general and focuses in the first place on the main pedagogical ideas and actions. So one scenario could result in many slightly different lesson plans, depending on the specific teaching context. The Navigato Scenario tool can be used both for lesson plans and for more conceptual scenarios. The main power of this tool is that it promotes active learning and that it inspires you in the design of engaging lessons. At the basis of the tool lies the idea of the learning zones. It is the idea of facilitating the pedagogy of active learning by providing the right conditions. In the first place, the design and use of the learning space. To avoid stereotype classroom activities, the tool makes you reflect on the different types or categories of activities. Quite often teachers interact and instruct. This means that teachers guide the learners through the different steps of the learning process. With exchange and discuss activities, learners communicate and exchange with peers, either in small groups or in plenary. Investigate and research activities are the ones where learners collect data and critically reflect on them, find answers to driving questions, etc. Create activities invite learners to create any type of product to showcase their learning. With present activities, the learners share what they have created with an audience. And finally, there's a category of assessment and feedback activities, which are for sure also part of a scenario design. Of course, there might be overlap with regards to these categories, but the advantage of this initial reflection is that it encourages you to bring variation into your classroom activities. And what's more, the Navigado tool provides ready-made activities you can select and adapt for each of the categories. Moreover, there are also suggestions about the tools and technologies you could use. The activities you design may support one or more of the so-called four C's of education. The four C's include critical thinking, communication, collaboration and creativity. In this tool, you can tag each of your activities with one or more of the four C's of education. Also important in the design of a scenario is not only what you will do, but also how the spatial design will look like. As a teacher, you can, for instance, reflect on your own role and position. Is your activity teacher-led? And do you guide your students through every step of the lesson? Or do you operate as a coach at the side when your students work more independently and ask for your help when needed? Or do they work completely independent without your supervision? For the spatial design, you can also decide on the positioning of the learners. In some cases, students work individually on a task. They can also work in small groups. All the learning can take place in plenary with all the students. Finally, there is also the parameter of the space format. In most cases, activities will take place in public, where all learners have visual and auditory contact with the rest of the class group and with the teacher. Some schools nowadays create learning spaces where students or groups of students can work in private or with limited distraction. And of course, when working virtually, the physical contact is completely diminished. Reflecting on all these parameters will help to step away from a one-size-fits-all approach. It will create learning that is active and engaging. 